Hey, thank you for watching. My name is Tom and you're watching Tom Stack Academy. In this quick tutorial, we're gonna install Selenium and we're gonna build the first Selenium script to automate data entry in a web application. In this tutorial, I'm gonna assume that you already have Python installed. I'm using VS Code, but of course you can use any editor you want. And if you want to run Selenium, the first thing you have to do is install the Chrome driver. So navigate to chromedriver.chromium.org slash downloads. You can find the link in the description. And then we need the version of Chrome that we are running. So click on the three dots here on the top. Then go to help and go to about Google Chrome. And you see here that I'm using version 105 from Chrome. Check the version that you're using because we're gonna need it in the next step. Then let's go back to the Chrome driver download page. And you see here, if you're using Chrome version 105, please download this Chrome driver. So click here to download this driver. Then I'm gonna download the one for Windows, this one. Show in folder. Then extract the driver from the zip file. And I'm gonna copy the Chrome driver, so copy it. Then I'm gonna to navigate to the C drive and I'm gonna create a new folder here that's called Chrome driver. And I'm gonna add the Chrome driver here. But what's important, it doesn't matter where you paste that driver, just make sure that you copy this URL. Then go to PC, properties, advanced system settings, environment variables, and then navigate to the path variable, this one. And we're gonna add a new path variable. So click new. And I'm just gonna paste the directory here where we installed the Chrome driver. Put that here, and then click off. So now there's one more thing we need to do, and that's installing Selenium. So open the command prompt, press the Windows key and then R, type CMD, press enter. And then we're gonna type here pip install selenium. Press enter. And you see I already have selenium installed. So probably for you it's gonna take a bit longer. You can close the window now. Okay, now let's start using selenium. So type from selenium import web driver and from selenium dot webdriver dot common dot by import by with a capital B driver is equal to webdriver dot chrome with a capital C and you can use any browser here but I'm using Chrome and then let's open a web page and I'm gonna use this web page rpa-unlimited.com which is my own website Scroll down, navigate to the YouTube example applications, and then I'm gonna use this example application. This course doesn't have anything to do with Robocorp, I'm just gonna leverage this application. So click open course material, and then you see here a form. And we're gonna leverage Selenium to automatically fill in this form. So copy this URL, go to VS Code, and then type driver.get, and then paste this URL. Okay, let's just try this out, press F5. I see the Chrome browser opening with this web page, so that looks good. Okay, let's go back to our website and then right click here, company name, and then click inspect. And then you see that the element has the ID company dash name and it also has a name and a class. Now, most of the times classes are not unique, but IDs should be. So I'm gonna use this ID, so just copy this text to find this element by Selenium. So I'll type driver dot find element. I'm gonna find this element by ID. The element that we want to find, so the ID needs to be equal to company-name. And then what we want to do if you find this element is type dot send keys. And I'm gonna type as company name Tom's Tech Academy. Okay, let's just run the script, press F5. So, okay, so you saw the browser opening and closing, but that was really fast. So let's add a delay here. So add library import time. And then I'm gonna say here time.sleep 10 seconds. Driver.quit. Press a five. Okay, now you clearly see Selenium typing and also keeping the browser open. So this looks good. So in this tutorial, we're not gonna do all the fields because all the fields are basically the same. So let's do one more field, let's do contact person as well, and then just click the button to add the customer to the system. So click on inspect here, 
And you see that the ID of this element is company dash context. So let's go back to VS Code, copy this one. And let's just let us wait for five seconds, not 10, that's a bit long. So this is company contact. My name is Thomas. And let's also click the button, right? So let's scroll below, inspect the button. And now you see that this button doesn't have an ID. So let's go by the class, just copy the class. Okay, so let's add a class, time.sleep5 driver.find element by and then let's say class name and the class name is btn success now we're going to click on that element okay so let's try this out okay and as you can see for some reason we are not able to click on that item so what I'm going to do, first of all, I'm going to maximize the window in the beginning. So use driver dot maximize window. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add a script to scroll to the bottom of the page. So let's make this one two time dot sleep two. And in between, I'm going to add a JavaScript here. I see driver execute script window dot scroll to and then scroll to the bottom of this screen. Okay. Let's try this out. Press F5. Let's just add another weight element just to see the result. It's 10. Okay, let's run this again. I see that we successfully submitted this customer to the CRM system. I hope this video was useful for you. If it was, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.